Oh, my goodness me. Have a go at that. Oh. <laughs> Look so at the size of that thing. That is yellow belly, is it? <laughs> It's an absolute beautiful morning here this morning. Couldn't ask for better. Have a look where I am. Absolutely magic looking spot. Look at all the logs and sticks in the water, the uh, water plants. I've just come out here to have a bit of a look about and oh geez, absolute magic looking spot. What we're gonna do today is, I've got five pyramid traps and there's quite a few water holes within this vicinity so I don't want to smash them all into one hole which is bloody tempting because this is a bloody good looking spot um, but I've been to see before and I have noticed there is quite a few big fish in here because I could see them swirling around uh, wouldn't surprise me at all if there was yellow belly in here there's a fish just out there then actually I don't know whether the camera would have picked that up but what we got just a big old lamb bone and we'll get these two traps in here and we'll keep moving around and check out a few water holes there is a creek down the back which we're going to go for a fish later and see how we go gonna have to be pretty precise with me throwing i reckon because i want to get it out past these water plants but not tangled in those sticks i think if we do all right here i'm going to bring the kayak back the Banks over there, they're all way too overgrown to walk in, walk down to. Perfect. There's a bloody big fish swirl and just there. Just come around and put this second trap in. I think it's well gonna be worth throwing a line out here. Well, there's another big fish right there. That's interesting. He's still there. Doesn't seem to be sucking the top of the water like a carp though. Can you pick that up? Right here he is. Which isn't the best sign for yabbies either because if there's a heap of big yellow belly in here, they get in and raid the bloody traps on me. So anyway, we'll get this second trap out here. Looks like a nice clear area. And there is a small overflow for this dam. You can see the dam, there's a bit of a gully that runs through here and there's another water hole out the back, but it's, it's a bit smaller and it's a lot more overgrown. So I think we'll give that one a miss. And we'll keep going down to the creek and see if we can find some decent holes along the creek to throw some traps. I've just been doing a bit of exploring and there's quite a few nice looking holes through here. I've decided on this one, it's fairly wide and fairly long. Goes right up around the corner there. And I'm gonna put the other three traps in here and we'll give them oh, half an hour, I reckon. And we'll have a check, just a check of one and see how we go. So we've got the first trap going in this channel. And I'm gonna put it out in about the middle. Got trap number two down here, probably about 20 metres, I suppose. Trap number two. And I've brought the third trap down a little bit further. There's this big old gum tree in the water. As you can see, that's the root ball. And that's the trunk runs up. It's actually still alive. Look at that, there's branches coming off it that are still alive. It's actually a cooler bar tree. Trap number three, right in there. Only fairly close to the edge and it's not terribly deep there. I'd probably say two foot at the most. We'll get the rods out here, um, sort of in between the traps. There's one trap on that other side of that big cooler bar. One down there about 20 meters. And there's heaps of sticks and stuff in the water here, but I'm not gonna go. I'm just gonna throw it fairly close for now. I might put a rod out here with a worm on it. Got something having a look at this rod. Let's take them bells off. 
Oh, got him. Straight up. Only been here 10 minutes. It's a bloody carp though, but I thought that's what would happen on the get him out of the water so he doesn't cause too much of a ruckus. It's only a carp. But it's a start. Carpio number one. Probably about 40 centimetres, I guess. I thought that's what happened with the worm rod. But we'll keep going with the worms and hopefully a yellow belly picks it up. We'll give it half an hour. <laughs> the rods are going off. And if we don't get a good yellow belly in half an hour, we'll go and check the traps and we'll move spots. But I've got my hands full here because that rod's going off again. I'm just still rebaiting that worm rod. This little yabby's going off. I think it's a big bloody yet, another big yabby. I thought it was getting a good bite. Check him out. Must be fairly decent. Oh yes, gotcha. That's what was biting on that bloody yabby rod. Oh, have a go at that. Unbelievable. Actually got a little fish as well. Look at that. Got a little perch. We'll put him back. And a decent yabby. I'm gonna keep him. We'll get him in the um, esky, and we'll keep going for a fish. Well, there we go. That was a bit of uh, uh, mayhem. Straight up on my toes. I was actually pulled my chair out 10 minutes ago, and I haven't sat down yet. Uh, what I actually done is I ditched the worms for now and put a yabby on both rods just because I'm going to be catching carp after carp otherwise. Oh yes, oh yes, yellow belly, and I left me buddy, oh no it's a carp, look real pale like a yellow belly had me going. <laughs> I got yabbies on both rods and it started going off, a real pale looking bloody carp, I could have swore that was a yellow belly coming in then. And it's been a good half an hour so I reckon I might do a run of the traps, then we'll find a different spot to fish. I've come down to the old cooler bar tree. This is the last one that we set and I worked my way back to the first one we set up in that dam. Oh, my goodness me. Have a go at that. That trap is absolutely bloody loaded. <laughs> Unbelievable. That hasn't been, that's definitely not been a full hour. That's 45 minutes at the most. And check this out. Look at that. Some bloody monsters in there too. What I want for tonight is 15 really good ones. So I'm gonna pick the best ones out and we'll let all the rest go. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, we'll tip these out slowly and I'll just pick out the biggest. There is a little bloody perch in there too. We'll get that little perch back. We'll take that one. Here's a nice one. There's a few good ones in here. We'll get all these, make sure that all these ones get back. We'll tip them out. I should have had a count. I've thrown four, three back and one in the bucket. Four, five. I reckon we'll just, oh no, we'll keep three. We'll keep three out of that trap. There's three. We've already thrown three, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen good yabbies. And even these ones that I'm throwing back, they're not little bloody yabbies, they're good sized yabbies. So here we are down at trap number two. Or two for the pool. Holy dooly. Holy dooly. And feel the weight in that. Another, there'd have to be another 18 in there at least. Oh, look at that for a prime yabby. He's an absolute prime banger, that one. Check him out. I'll get him out here in the sun where you can see him a bit. 
he's nice and clean and big that's what i'm after 15 like that and i'll be happy i'll tip these out down here near the water a little bit i'll try and do it slowly um, we might let all them go there's another at least another one or two in here that i'll keep i'm going to keep that one because he's nice and clean i'll try and pick the cleanest ones and this fella here that's rearing up at me beautiful clean yabby this fella here is a good yabby but he's a little bit black so we'll let him go look at how quick they're getting back to the water little fella here oh there's actually a shrimp there i'm going to keep that and put on my rod and i'm going to take that one there too because look how nice and clean he is he's not the biggest yabby he's got a good sized tail and he's really clean and i got a little shrimp out of there i bet you he was bloody nervous in that trap before they big yabbies i'm going to run him back to the bait bucket before we go and check the next one trap number three coming in oh yes that trap's just flipping with them oh and some nice clean ones have a go at that that's unbelievable and some beautiful yabbies too have a go at that that's just an absolute bloody prime no slime no mud beautiful clean yabby And there'd be a good half a dozen in here like that. We'll tip them out and have a look. Like I said, I'm just going to pick out the cleanest ones, even if they're not very big. But tonight, another one there. He's not too bad. And what I'll do later is, as I'll get better ones, I'll let some go and keep grading them out and just take 15 really prime ones that was a bit of a mission i decided just to walk i was carrying that big that esky half full of water and it was a bit further than what i thought when i from when i drove here anyway i'll stop having a whinge and i'll pull this trap in see how we go in the dam and the water in here is a lot cleaner looking and it's a fair bit deeper so <sighs> be 50 50 not a single yabby not a single yabby in the dam and trap number five is coming in it's going to be a bit dodgy coming through there yeah again that did go upside down but there was definitely no yabbies in there well that's bloody nearly unbelievable you know i would have thought there would have been the biggest ones in here but just goes to show so I'm going to take them two traps back down to where we are. But first I'm going to sit here for half an hour with the rod. I brung the rod with me. I'm going to go over. There's a big tree there for a bit of shade. I'm going to go and have a bit of a fish. I'm over underneath that shady tree. And I've just got a little yabby and that shrimp that we got out of the yabby trap. We'll toss it in here and see what we can get. Well, that was a pretty short-lived adventure. I actually got, I had my rod just out off the edge of those reeds there and got a whopper of a hit and then snagged straight up so that a fish must have just grabbed it and swam straight under a log or something. And just looking in here, the edges of this dam are that bloody snaggy. There's logs and sticks sticking out of the water everywhere. Uh, there's a bit of a clear spot over there and maybe on the edge of these reeds over there we might come back i reckon come back with the kayak but we'll go back down to the creek because i haven't got any more hooks there was no yabbies in the trap which sort of tells me there's some big predatory fish in there which wouldn't be carp there'd have to be big yellow belly in there i'd say but we definitely won't give up on this place i'll persevere a little bit I don't know whether we'll get back here today or not, but we'll see how we go. The two traps that were in that dam, I'm going to put one out here right where I was fishing earlier. 
And the other trap that was in that dam that we didn't do any good, I reckon there's bloody good yellow belly in. We've just come in between. I've got one trap there at that little tree. One trap there just on the other side of that big tree and we'll just throw it straight out in the middle. So I've been sitting up there with that rod, good half an hour I suppose. Had a few little hits, uh, I reckon we'll probably carp anyway. And it's been a good half an hour, uh, maybe 40 minutes. We'll give these traps another run and I reckon we'll probably get what we need in this run. Trap number one. Oh yeah, not as good as the first pull but there's a couple of really nice clean ones in there for sure. That'd be one, two, and I reckon the rest can go back. I mean, they're good yabbies, but they just got that little bit of mud on them, bit of slime, so they can go back. Trap number two. <laughs> There's a few flipping in there. Oh, and an absolute beauty too. I'll get the camera down so you can see it. Another little perch. Little perch, we'll let him go. There's a beauty in the corner there. We'll get him out. See if he's going to come. His own free will. It doesn't look like it. Yep, he is. Another absolute beauty. Nice and clean. Good size. And I'm only going to keep one out of that trap. And there's another 12 in there. Plus there's another little fish that I didn't see. But we'll let all them go. Let them grow a little bit bigger. Trap number three. And this is one of the traps that we brought over from the dam. So it hasn't been in as long. It's probably been in 20, 25 minutes, I guess. Oh, and another little... What have we got? A fish, a shrimp. Oh, and there's only three fairly small ones in there, so I'm going to let all them go straight up. Yeah, trap number four. And again, this one here is the one that was over at that dam that I'd only just put in. It's only been in for about 20 minutes. Well, there's a few nice ones in there. There's one really good one. Tip me out here and have a look. Oh, there's one beauty. Two. This one here, it's, it's almost like his nippers have got um, ripped off before and he's regrown them because he seems to be a really big yabby for only small nippers. And this one here is just a nice one all around. And trap number five. Oh, this one's loaded. Look at them all. New beauty. I needed a few more. I reckon that I wanted about another five and that's what's in here, so bloody perfect. We'll have a look at them. Now we've got one, two that are holding on to each other. They're beautiful, clean yabbies. Three. That one there is a nice one, but he's a bit muddy looking. So we'll throw him back. Oh, see. Getting quite a few nice little bait sized um, yabbies in here, but I've got plenty of bait at home, so we'll let them go. And there's a couple more in here that are worth going in the pot. Another one there. Another one there. He's sort of borderline. A little bit muddy, but I reckon he'd be definitely be a goer. Well, I brought the rod over to the dam here. I've been sitting here for a good half an hour, I suppose, and haven't had a hit. I've actually come over to the side. I was over at that big tree when I first when we first checked those traps and got that really good hit. And I come over to this side where there's not as many snags. But I haven't had a single hit. and I've only been here for half an hour. Uh, and it is the middle of the day now, so it's probably not the best time. If you want to see me come back here uh, late afternoon or really early morning and have a really good crack here, 
I can see there's definitely fish in here. And just leave a comment down below if you want to see me come back here. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's free and it really helps us out a lot. And what we're going to do now, we're going to head back to the kitchen and we're going to cook up them yabbies and I've got something special lined up, so hang around. We're back in the kitchen. Um, before we start cooking, I'll just let you know we've got a couple of taste testers coming tonight and they're two taste testers that don't like yabbies and they're going to have a crack at them and um, see what they reckon. I'll give you a bit of a look at uh, what we actually kept. And this is what we actually kept. There's probably a few more there than what I actually expected. There's probably a good 20, I'll have a proper count. But have a go at this fella. He's one that stands out, big, uh, really dark, black looking blue colour. I bet you he's going to be tasty. So first thing we're going to do, what we're going to be making is a bit of um, what I call lamb and dam. Um, it's a bit of lamb chops and yabbies. First thing we're going to do is start with some nice lamb chops. I've got a couple of guests coming around tonight. Um, for a taste test, and I've got a really, really hot cast iron skillet. Put them three on there, I've got that absolutely flat out, that's going high. Now that's been about two minutes on each side, absolutely flat out. What I'm going to do is put a bit of seasoning on each one. I'm going to put a bit of garlic on each one. I'm going to turn that off for now and I'm going to wrap that in foil. So I've got that wrapped in foil, you can still hear it sizzling away in there, that cast iron will hold the heat in for a long time. And I'll stick it in the oven and I've got the oven set really low, it's set on about 130 Celsius. And that's going to sit in there for about two hours. And while that's cooking, we're going to start on our yabbies. So we ended up with 22 in our bucket, which ain't too bad. And the next step, I'm just going to stick them in the freezer. And I'll leave them in the freezer for a good hour, maybe even a bit longer. So the next step with our yabbies, what we're going to do, we've had them in the freezer for a long time. They're well and truly dead now, look. They're they're fairly well asleep anyway. What we're going to do, pretty simple, take our yabbies out, put them in the hot water. Now I'll do that with all these. We've got all our yabbies in the pot, and I do have oh, probably a tablespoon or two tablespoons of salt in that water. We'll stick the lid on that, I'll turn it back up. And I don't want to fully cook them yabbies, I just want to blanch them, so I reckon probably, I'll give them five minutes. These yabbies have been boiling away here for a good five minutes, so I'll give you a look at what stage they're at. Oh, we'll smoke out there. You can see they're just turning red, um, not fully done yet. You can see when they're fully done, the tails will break away from the shell a bit more than that. But that's all we want them at at this stage. So what I'm going to do, I've tipped these yabbies out of the hot water to stop them cooking too much. I put them back in this pot and I'm going to put that pot in the freezer just to stop them cooking and so they can cool down enough for me to peel. Now I've had all these yabbies that are partially cooked in the freezer for probably about 10 minutes I suppose just to cool them down so I can peel them. Um, I'm not going to show you peeling them in this video. And just like that, easy as one, two, three. Yabbies are all peeled. There's still some nice bloody nippers in there. What I reckon I might do, I've still got a little while. Uh, that lamb's just not quite finished yet. So we will, I'll just wrap those tails up. I'll put them on a smaller plate, throw them in the fridge. Uh, there won't be long, probably t another 10 minutes or so. And I might um, have a snack on them nippers while I'm waiting. 
I will cook them a bit more first. I'll um, rip all the nippers off and throw them in some boiling water for another 10 minutes or so. Now our lamb chops are done. What I've done, which I didn't show on the video, is I turned that oven, unwrapped the foil, turned that oven right up to high for about 10 minutes just to finish them off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank the heat right up on that pan now, get it nice and hot. So all we're going to do to finish these yabbies off, they're partially cooked, peeled and deveined, throw them in the super hot pan, in with all the flavouring off that lamb. These yabbies are definitely done now. You can tell the way they curl right up like that. So we've got it all plated up, just got a bit of rice on there to go with it and some special sauce that it take me ages to make it did hollandaise sauce poured over a hot stove for hours making that and i've just been informed that uh, one of the guests can't eat egg so she's missed out on the hollandaise sauce so i better introduce our guest of honor we've got gwen which is mum and shane which is dad also known as Shady. <laughs> Most people watching this will know him as Shady. <laughs> so we'll let um, Gwen go first and taste the Abbey. Yeah. Have a look at it. <laughs> what do you reckon? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you reckon, Dad? He's been hanging out for a feed of yabbies. He's been up me for a month now. And when I told him to come down. Not too bad. Lucky I taught you how to cook. <laughs> <coughs> and when I come down and said, come and have a feed of yabbies, because I'm here by myself, everyone else is um, buggered off on holidays on me. He was too scared to come on camera and eat some. <laughs> <laughs> Rightio, we're going to leave the video there. What do you reckon is it a thumbs up? up <laughs> <laughs> don't forget hit the subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one